How y'all doing out there? This is the, um, what is this called? The Tech 9 from Intertech. This one actually shoots really well. Um, some of these have a reputation for not shooting too good. This one's never jammed. So let's go through this. Uh, first thing you do, take the magazine out. Make sure you're empty. Fire it in a safe location. This one has the barrel extension on it, so I'm gonna take that off. And then push out right there. This little pin here. So that little pin comes out. back here, goes in like that. Let's see here. So this back part, you can stick a screwdriver in there, but I noticed I could do it with my hand, so. Now that's the uh, buffer pad that you have to change out every now and then. I think that's why this one shoots so well. The buffer pad looks really good. Slide that out. Slide that out. Just make sure I know which way this goes in. Slide that out. Mm -hmm. That pops out right there. That comes out, and then you're left with basically just the barrel empty tube. And then on the plastic side, the lower, that's basically it. So that's what you got inside the Tech 9. So let's go through and clean it up. Uh, this gun really doesn't look as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, we've ran a lot of bullets through here. So I like to just oil this up. Okay, I'm not gonna put any oil on this rubber because I'm not sure if it will um, kind of change it, you know, um, make it gummy. So I'm not really gonna put any oil there. I'm gonna put oil on this side where the springs are. Uh, really for the most part, I think this gun's fairly clean looking. I'm kind of surprised at how clean this gun is because um, like I said, we, we hope I remember how that goes together. Like I said, we put a lot of rounds through it. Okay, I mean, for the most part, it looks uh, looks really good. Mm -hmm. Very simple design. That's your extractor.
run the Hoppies boar snake through here. That barrel even looks fantastic. Uh, I'm really surprised at how, I don't know if y'all can see that. How clean that barrel is. So, I mean, that's basically it. Real simple gun once you take it apart. Uh, it's the first time I've ever taken this gun apart, but pretty simple to clean. And like I said earlier, um, from what I understand, the reason these start to misfire or stovetop, because this uh, pad back here wears out, this one's in really good shape and I'm guessing that's why it shoots so well. Um, if I'm wrong on that, please let me know in the comments. This is a really fun gun to shoot. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's quite a bit of brass down at the bottom of this. Looks like speckled gold down in there. That's the stuff you're trying to get out. It really doesn't mess your gun up, but can cause it to misfire. Start to wear out parts. Um, brass is fairly soft material, so that's why they use it. They're not gonna get um, kind of bends a little bit compared to steel. There's still some there at the bottom, bottom, but I'm get to that. a bit of paint on it from when we were painting the room that this gun stays in. Got some paint on it there. Okay, so let's reassemble this. Uh, first thing, let's go go back in there. Place that back in there, and then this goes like that. I don't know if you can see that. That goes like that. That's right in there. It might be a little difficult to get out. Nope, that is not right. So that goes in like that, just slides in 
like so. Y'all can see that. That goes together like that. Then we'll slide this in here. Line up that hole there. Put that piece in. Now that we're oiled up fairly well, put that piece in there like that. So, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can. And there, there's a big hole and then there's a hole in this piece I just dropped in those springs the big spring goes in the big hole and the little spring goes in this smaller hole this piece I dropped in that's attached to the firing pan so I'll just slide that in there like so you can see where that littler spring goes in there So then just on top here, I'm gonna squeeze that down. And spin until it's bottomed out. Now, I don't know if it matters, but when I took it apart, that was on this side, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Next thing is, uh, this guy goes right here. Basically right there. So, slide that down on top there. So, that's all together. Just put the pin back in it. Good to go. Uh, I'm gonna clean the barrel, the extender a little bit. Looks like a shotgun will, 12 gauge uh, bore cleaner will go through there. It's just an extender for for this. And uh, I like to put a little oil on these when I'm done. Just clean off the whole thing. Does need to re-blue it here. I might look into that. Maybe I'll do a video on re-bluing this uh, this extender. But hopefully this helps y'all in what y'all are doing. Um, please subscribe, comment, you know, all the good stuff. And as usual, have a great day.